Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. We yeah. are Suprash. We are starting our day today, and uh, we are first heading towards Big Sur of Mexico statue. So there is like a wing and also a Burj Khalifa in the behind. So we wanted to take some uh, pictures and also have a view of uh, Burj Khalifa itself. So stay tuned with us as we enjoy some moments over there, and you will soon know what our plan is for the rest of the day. Wings of Mexico is a very Instagrammable spot in Dubai. I'm sure most of you would have seen pictures of it. If you've not seen the Wings of Mexico before on Instagram, then you can follow our page. Uh, we've linked the handle down below. And we have reached our first stop, the Wings of Mexico. You can see the Burj Khalifa in the background and the pose over here in front of these wings with a frame. And I'm sure the picture will come amazing. And you see over here how Sup is posing for some Instagram photos. Right in front of Burj Khalifa with the Wings of Mexico. Doesn't she look just like an angel? If you're running short on time in Dubai and you don't have time to visit all Dubai, you can get a glimpse of the traditional houses right next to the Wings of Mexico. And that's the view which leads on to Burj Khalifa. Just look at that view. After taking some pictures at Wings of Mexico, when we just walked a uh, little bit front, we can see more closely Burj Khalifa and also the fountain. There's the same fountain which you might have seen in our first video on Dubai. If you've not checked that video out, then please go and check it out. Close to this place itself, there is Dubai Mall. Of course, you would have seen that we just got out of Dubai Mall and we had this fountain. So now we will go to the Dubai Mall itself and let's do some shopping. You cannot come to Dubai and not do any shopping. It's uh, incomplete, so let's go shopping. And that to do is the Dubai Shopping Festival. They even have a lake ride right in front of Dubai. Mall and Burj Khalifa. They operate every day you see over here from 1745 to 2315 and it costs approximately 68 dirhams for a boat ride per person. Imagine attending the musical fountain show, going on a boat ride up close to the fountain and enjoying the views and getting a view of Burj Khalifa. That will be something unique. One of the biggest malls in the world. It even has an aquarium inside. Can you imagine having an aquarium in a mall? So let's check out this biggest mall in the world. The mall is so big, it's spread across 4 floors and if you walk across all floors, it's as good as walking 7 kilometers. And it has 14,000 places for parking. Just imagine how big it is. And it has over 1,400 shops and eateries over here. some shopping or maybe to eat restaurants and everything so you can search on that and they can also show you how to reach there so imagine how big it is that you need actually an app another great tip if you're shopping here they also have skyward miles you might have heard if you are a member of emirates you can just upload the receipt in this app if it is more than 180 then you can also get those miles on your uh, skyward account so so useful is this app inside the mall. You might have already seen uh, when we visited the old Dubai that was also a zoo. Even a Dubai mall also has a zoo. So now 
we are back to the hotel after roaming around uh, in the Dubai Mall, which is so a huge mall. We'll have an aquarium, an ice skating ring. Can you imagine that Dubai has everything? We spent more than half a day, I guess, uh, at the Dubai Mall, and still we couldn't see the entire mall because it's not possible. It's so huge. I mean, we were just astonished to see the number of brands. It, I, I mean, I don't think we are sure any brand we talk about, I think it will be there. Every other brand we saw, the brands which we have seen in Belgium, we have seen in many other countries, we found it there. We again saw the fountain show. If you have already watched our previous video, you might have seen, we had seen it already. But this time, it was with a different view. So it was actually, there was Burj Khalifa in front of us and there was this fountain show going on. It gives a totally different perspective and uh, we really enjoyed seeing it. Uh, this one was a little short compared to the first one which we saw. I think they change every time they play the music and the fountain show, it's different every time. So it depends on what you get to see when you're here. So a tip from us, if you plan to go uh, to see the fountain show, try to get a view so that Burj Khalifa is in front of you. That experience is different. It's, it's nice. Also, this fountain show starts at I think 6 p.m. and it's every 30 minutes. So try to be there already a few minutes before because you can already see there's a crowd everywhere around. Since it's so popular, it's better to come a little earlier and reserve the spot so that you get an unobstructed view of the fountain and Bush Khalifa. And if you'd like to know today's budget, it had a lot of personal shopping, so those details will not be shared. But we will still add uh, the expenses of going there and the food uh, expense in our budget video. So if you want to know the budget on the Dubai trip, do subscribe to our channel and hit the bell notification to be notified as soon as that video goes live. But apart from that, we will also show you where actually we stayed in Dubai. So even stay tuned for that video as well. And with this, we would like to end our video. And if you like this video, don't forget to like, share, because sharing is caring, and subscribe to our channel if you already haven't done so. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.